Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I want to make a quick video update to a previous video I made about two to three years ago about whether getting a Mac Mini uh, in 2020 was worth it. Now, uh, almost two and a half years later, uh, I actually still have that same Mac Mini from late 2014. And the reason I was, you know, I guess questioning whether it's worth it was because after I updated uh, the Mac Mini, uh, from Yosemite onto the next OS, it, it literally just went to a, a snail's pace. And so I originally thought maybe that it wasn't actually the OS, but that the hard drive was failing because at every turn, uh, I would literally be making a move on the Mac Mini. I would literally get the, the spindle of death, basically. I would get that loading spinny, uh, literally every maneuver I would get. And it was baffling to me why I would think that the hard drive would fail because I barely used it. I literally have barely anything on it. So I decided, you know what, let me give this thing another shot. Let me reset this Mac Mini entirely. And um, I essentially wiped it to factory settings. It went right back to OS X Yosemite. And from there, I realized that, oh, actually, you can update this Mac Mini all the way to Mac OS Monterey, the most recent one, version uh, OS X uh, 12.1. And so, lo and behold, here it is, a stock Mac Mini, late 2014 Mac Mini. And when I mean stock, literally stock. Uh, 1.4 gigahertz dual core i5, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and that's it, a, you know, a normal hard drive, you know, not an SD, S, SSD, not a, you know, upgraded RAM. It's literally like the lowest level of the late 2014 model that you could possibly get with Mac OS X, or sorry, with the Mac Mini. And here it is. I'm running OS X Monterey, as you can see. Uh, let me kind of just show you what I've basically done. I'm going to open up some YouTube videos. And, uh, you know, I would probably say if you're not going to do anything graphically intensive, it works great. <laughs> you know, like, again, like I literally jumped this Mac Mini from Yo uh, Yosemite straight to um, Monterey. So I, you know, there was literally like it was a clean, clean wipe went uh, went from one OS to the to the latest version of OS. So nothing in between. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just using this as a pure, I guess, browser and, um, I guess you could say like an email and Word documentation uh, Mac, it, it works perfectly fine in 2021. And I can tell you right now here, I'll just put up like a random video, put on the Dodo, put that on mute just so I don't get copyright flags. Um, you know, there, there's a little bit of loading every now and then, but that could just really just be my internet. But for the most part, this Mac Mini works great. You know, I, I take everything back what I originally said, if, if Mac Mini in 2014, uh, a late 2014 model was worth it. Uh, it absolutely is. If you're just going to be doing kind of like basic normal tasks on your Mac Mini, such as like just web browsing, watching videos, streaming, or doing emails, uh, it works great. And so what I've actually done was, I took that Mac Mini, which essentially I had bought brand new for around 600-ish back in 2014, and here it is using it in 2021 using just some additional parts. Uh, most notably, I'm just using a, a, a normal TV screen, a Vizio as a monitor, uh, or not as a monitor, but basically as my display. I basically bought a cheap... Uh, $20 Logitech keyboard, wireless keyboard and mouse. For a webcam, I bought a $24 Logitech C270 HD webcam, which, you know, comes in at 720p and it works just fine, you know, just to be, you know, perfectly frank so I can kind of do video conferencing calls and whatnot. And I got an HP uh, mini printer for only $90. So all, all in all, basically just to modernize this Mac mini to 2021, it was around the cost of $120 uh, just to, you know, get some new parts with it, some a new keyboard mouse, new printer, uh, my own webcam, and just using an existing TV screen. And I have a Mac Mini that works perfectly fine. You know, here it is. I'm, I'm running a video right now. I'll put it into 1080p. Um, I mean, this is not a 4K screen, but 
yeah, it, it works fine. It, it runs very smoothly, to be honest with you. And as you can see here, uh, here's me using my new webcam on it. And yeah, like you could just use a Mac Mini completely stock, no SSD, uh, no RAM upgrades, uh, and it will run Mac OS Monterey perfectly fine. Now, again, this was a clean install, not having, you know, multiple iterations of, I guess, OS updates from prior. It literally was from Yosemite straight to Mac OS Monterey. And my machine is so much more faster after upgrading to Monterey. Now, uh, in terms of like installing Monterey from uh, OS X Yosemite on a Mac Mini 2014, it did take a while, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know, it did take like a significant number of hours uh, to actually wipe the Mac Mini clean and then like do a fresh reinstall of the OS X Yosemite. And then from there having to update it to Monterey, it, it, it took quite a bit, but once you do, uh, it's almost like a brand new machine and you know, I highly recommend it. So if you can find one of these Mac Mini 2014s out there on eBay, they're generally pretty cheap. Like I'd say like $100 and again, like what you're seeing here is the most stock, stock basic version of a Mac Mini 2014. So anyways, uh, let me know any questions, but again, highly recommend upgrading a Mac Mini 2014 to OS X Monterey.